Okay, first thing, <laughs> let me, I'll email the person in charge and I'll ask her if it's okay if you all participate. And, if, and then if she says yes, then maybe I'll even have her come in and talk to the class. So, oh, good, all right, good, good stuff. Okay, so, hey, oh, you're already here. So, you replace all the X's with C's. You can walk, oh. Oh, okay, no, it's okay, no, it's okay. I'll come, come. go ahead. <laughs> so basically, we have f of c equals 6. f of c equals 6. So we replace all the x's with c's. So this is c squared <laughs> plus c over c minus 1. Right? And then that whole thing equals c. I'm still thinking about the poster thing. Like, I'll ask. Yeah. I have samples and stuff. And yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. So what do we do next? This is where some people got stuck, I think. What do you do? What do you multiply? Yeah, by c minus 1 on both sides, right? Very good. c minus 1, c minus 1. So we get c squared plus c equals 6c minus 6. So 6c minus 6. 6c minus 6. All right, good stuff. This is a quadratic equation. Generally, when you're solving these, you want to set them equal to 0, right? Um, so Sub subtract, six. subtract 6c and add 6. Yeah, Would that be c squared minus 5c plus 6 plus 6? And this should factor, right? This should factor nicely. This is c, c. We need two numbers that multiply to 6. Negative 3 and negative 2. So we get 3 and 2. Which one do we throw away? 2, yeah, because 2 is smaller than 2.5, right? 2 is smaller than 2.5. So that would be the answer.